In the south of Russia, nestled between the Black Sea and the Caucasus Mountains, the city of Krasnodar hums with anticipation. This is the city where the rebels MC Russia, are marking their 8th anniversary. Founded in 2016 under the guidance and blessing of Alex Vela, the legendary founder of Rebels MC Australia, this chapter has grown into a formidable brotherhood. The first Russian Rebels national run took place in July 2017, from Moscow to Orenburg. This inaugural run marked the beginning of a new era for the Rebels in Russia, establishing their presence and unity on the expansive Russian roads. Since then the Rebels MC Russia has seen steady growth, attracting members from various regions who share a passion for riding and a commitment to their creed. The chapter has become known for its well-organized runs, alcohol parties and celebrations, and dedication to upholding the values instilled by Alex Vela. Each year, the Rebels MC Russia celebrates its anniversary with a major run, bringing together members from across the country. Rebels bikies were seen on Harleys roaring across Russian roads with Rebels flags, insignia, and a strong sense of camaraderie. The sound of their engines echoed through the landscapes, drawing the attention of onlookers. Clad in leather jackets with their iconic cap-wearing skull and 1% patch in the center, the riders kept a disciplined formation, each bike reflecting its rider's personality and dedication. As they rode through towns and countryside, the sight was impressive. The colors of their flags and patches stood out against the green fields and rustic villages. With the wind in their faces and the road ahead, the Rebels' bikies embodied the essence of freedom. The Rebels Russia is currently structured into five distinct chapters, namely Black Sea, Orenburg, Rock River, North Caucasus, and Siberia. Each chapter operates independently, yet they all are under one central leadership. These chapters are strategically located to cover a wide geographical area, ensuring a robust presence throughout the region. The run ended with parties, live bands, dancers, and a patching ceremony taking the stage. This isn't the first time a bikey club has expanded overseas. According to Australian law enforcement agencies, outlaw motorcycle clubs are expanding their global footprints using a franchise model similar to McDonald's or KFC. Just as these fast food chains open branches in different countries to expand their reach, bikies also establish new chapters internationally. This allows them to operate more efficiently and increase their influence and control over illegal activities, such as drug trafficking across multiple regions. By adopting a franchise-like strategy, these clubs can replicate their operations, maintain brand consistency, and effectively manage their network on a global scale. This sophisticated network allows bikies to control the production and distribution of illicit drugs worldwide, employing a strategy akin to that of multi-billion dollar global corporations. Bikey clubs have been establishing well-coordinated international networks to streamline the distribution of drugs within Australia. Some of their chapters abroad act as crucial hubs for receiving and forwarding drug shipments from regions like South America, Asia, and the Middle East. This means that these overseas chapters play a vital role in the logistics of drug trafficking, serving as entry points where large quantities of drugs are received and then transported to Australia. By having these strategic international outposts, the bikey clubs can more efficiently manage the import and distribution process, ensuring a steady supply of illicit drugs to Australian markets. Given the size and strategic location of Russia, it is considered an ideal hub for the movement of illicit drugs and other illegal goods into Australia and neighbouring regions. According to reports, the Rebels MC has been rotating its members globally and actively recruiting local members in various countries, including Russia. Russia's vast geography and numerous transportation routes make it a valuable transshipment point for smuggling operations. This means that drugs and illegal goods can be moved through Russia before reaching their final destinations, such as Australia. Additionally, there has been a noticeable increase in foreigners joining the Australian-based Rebels MC, suggesting that the club is expanding its influence and network by integrating international members. This global expansion enhances their ability to coordinate and facilitate illegal activities across borders. Rebels was founded by Clint Jacks in Brisbane, Queensland, in 1969 and was originally named the Confederates. 
Their insignia is a Confederate flag with a cap-wearing skull and 1% patch in the center. The Australian government and law enforcement consider the rebels to be a criminal organization, but the club claims to be a group of motorcycle enthusiasts rather than so-called gangsters. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, the Rebels MC grew steadily and expanded its influence, establishing chapters in various Australian states. It gained a reputation as one of the most prominent and well-organized outlaw motorcycle clubs in the country. Over the years, the Rebels, like many outlaw motorcycle clubs, have faced allegations and legal challenges related to criminal activities such as drug trafficking, violence, and organized crime involvement. They have also been involved in conflicts with rival motorcycle clubs, particularly the Benditos and the Hells Angels. The leadership of the Rebels MC has seen changes over time, with different national presidents leading the club. One notable leadership change occurred when former national president Alex Vela faced legal issues and was stranded in Malta after a visit in 2014. Damien Vela assumed the role of national president. Rebels Constitution states that it is a non-profit organization which promotes the riding of Harley-Davidson motorcycles. Members are only permitted to join the club once and never to join another motorcycle club. The Rebels established their first international chapters in New Zealand in 2011. Rebels now have operations in over 20 countries across Asia, Europe, and North America. If you're looking for more thrilling and edgy bikey updates, don't hesitate, whack that subscribe button, spread and share the video, hit that like button, and drop your thoughts in the comments. And for the true grid Spartans out there, consider sending a super thanks or buying us a coffee, to show some love. Your support keeps us going and the channel thriving, especially since most of our videos aren't monetized due to all the crime related content. Stay tuned, stay curious, stay awesome, and take care, Wu-Tang.